Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215, and right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Right now we just got off the Blue Line train. We're headed up towards Center City, Philadelphia. All right, guys, so in case you didn't get to hear me the first time, greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215, and right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today, we're gonna to be doing a walking tour of downtown Philadelphia, Center City, Philadelphia. Right now, we're in Center City. We're on 15th and Market. We just got off the Blue Line train. We're next to City Hall. We have City Hall in front of us. It's a sunny day. It's about 80 degrees outside right now. I'm gonna cross on this walk hand like everybody else. So I'm gonna try to mix this tour up with a few different things. We're gonna take a little sneak peek at City Hall for those of you who haven't seen it yet. Then we'll walk around the corner, maybe around Locust and Walnut to see some of the storefronts. And then after that, we'll probably top it off around the gallery slash convention center area where they're proposing a new Sixer Stadium in the heart of downtown we'll probably end the tour off around there but meanwhile let's wait here at this red light as you can see on the intersection there's some uh burnout marks looks like somebody has been having fun here with a hell cat or something like that so this is dilworth park dilworth park is located directly next to City Hall. Check this out. We have some Amish people. An Amish family here. That's pretty cool. So check this out. They have some information here. talking about the evolution of business here in downtown Philadelphia. Now, some people call it City Hall, other people call it downtown. I believe it's traditionally known as uh, Center City Philadelphia. City Hall is in Center City, actually, this is City Hall. This is the center of the city. Like if you look at the map, this would be the central point. Check this out. Oh wow, you can actually walk through here, y'all. Oh, this is pimping. You can walk through this genre, right? Oh, this is fire. This is a new addition for show. They still have an ice skating rink here. This is nice, y'all, look at this. I feel like I'm in an Alice in Wonderland uh, nightmare. <laughs> Yo, this is tough. This is nice, like if you want to take pictures or maybe like a romantic walk at nighttime, you're with your significant other, you can take a nice walk. I'm gonna take the shortcut, look at that. Shortcut. It'll be fun to like ride go-karts on that. And if you slip off, you get wet, you know what I mean? That'd be part of the, the actual game. Now, if you go up that way, you go towards the art museum, 
Franklin Institute and so on. Now, please do make note that I did many walking tours in City Hall, many walking tours in downtown, many walking tours um, uh, around the art museum. I have covered this area more than once, probably more than I would probably estimate a dozen times. So if you wanna see more of downtown, more of Center City, maybe more of City Hall, type Center City Philadelphia Tune 215 and see what comes up. So they got driving tours and walking tours throughout all of this area on different days, different events and different weathers. I even did a three hour walking special, uh, I think like two Christmases ago. Just gonna check it out and see if there's anything new for 2022, cause y'all know that I haven't been uh, covering downtown Philadelphia since I last left. When I went on that 48 state cross country trip, before that was the last time that I covered downtown. And I've been to downtown dozens and dozens of times since I got back. I just haven't documented it. So you got somebody cleaning with a pressure washer. This is City Hall, the historic City Hall. All right, so if you go down this way, you'll be headed northbound. You'll head towards North Philly, North Central Philadelphia. Yes, there is a bus station, or I should say an Orange Line train station that's called North Philadelphia or Central North Philadelphia. It's pointed in this direction. A lot of people don't know that there is a Central North Philadelphia. That's because we're in Central Philadelphia right now. But if we go up this block, we'll be in North Central Philadelphia. Then if you pass Gerard, you'll start working your way to North Philadelphia. If you go this way, you'll be in East Philadelphia. If you go behind me, it's West Philadelphia. If you go to our right, it's South Philadelphia. So you got the uh, Masonic Temple right there, Masonic Temple. We've looked at that temple on a few occasions. You got Filbert over here, Filbert. Yo, there's a food market over there. The Reading Terminal, is it the Reading Terminal Station? There's a food market. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to take you out on a walk through through that food market. It's really packed. That's the courthouses over there. If you get into any legal issues, you might be in that building. All right, so what we'll do is, we're gonna save that attempt to walk through Reading Terminal for the end. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the storefronts around the corner on Locust, Chestnut and all of that, a Walnut I should say. And then from there, we will go eastbound and we'll try to go check out that Reading Terminal. So now we're on Market Street. So Market Street is what really separates uh, South from North. Like if you look at a map, that's on the central point. And this is City Hall. City Hall is located on the central point of the map. So it's located right before you hit South. Now, when we cross City Hall, we go behind City Hall. Now we're on the South side of Broad Street. If we go in front of City Hall northbound, we'll be on the North side of, of Broad Street. I should say Market Street. My bad, I said Broad Street. Broad Street runs straight through the center. All right, I'm just gonna look up so you guys have something to look at. A lot of spectacular architecture from back in the day. From a time when technology wasn't as rampant as it is today, but they still got it done.
William McKinley. Check out this uh, light pole with all those light bulbs. That's pretty cool. All right, so right now we're facing South Philadelphia. So we're gonna cross the street here and then we'll cross again. We're gonna check out some of the stores and then we'll end up crossing Broad Street again. Right now we're on Broad Street. This is the intersection of Broad and South Penn Square. Uh, Penn Square runs directly around City Hall. So we're on the south side of Penn Square. Your tire coming off, bro. Your tire coming off. Yo, that was gangster. You saw that? Her tire coming off, bro. How we just caught that? Yo, that was crazy. We just caught that, y'all. <laughs> y'all saw that accidental catch? She went right over the sidewalk and her tire got messed up. All right, so we're on Chestnut Street. Chestnut's one of our shopping streets. Up and down Chestnut, there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of boutiques, a lot of uh, eateries, things like that. Places to shop. But we're gonna go to the next block. We're probably gonna start on uh, maybe Walnut. I feel like Walnut's a little bit more appropriate. Maybe then we can come down Chestnut. We got a little Halloween costume store right here. Those usually come up seasonal. They pop up um, during the Halloween season and they sell masks for like three, three months, costumes and all that stuff. That's one of my spots. I love eating there right there, Hip City Veg. People always tell me too, why don't you cover the food of Philly too? Cover the food of Philly. And the reason why I don't cover the food of Philly is because I eat different. I don't eat the same type of foods and I'm not up for all the food controversy. <laughs> so if I pass a spot that I eat at, I don't mind letting y'all know like, yo, that's the spot that I eat at. That y'all banging. But I don't really be trying to like per persuade y'all to eat what I eat. <laughs> I always love this building right here. This building right here is fly. The Union League founded in 1862. All right, we're gonna make a right on Walnut Street. Now there's little eateries. Oh snap, look at Rocky, the musical. Check it out, there's a musical coming out. So there's little eateries and um, places to shop at all throughout downtown, they're scattered. Sometimes you can go to a little tiny block and find a place to eat at or shop at or get your hair done or a lot of hotels. A lot of hotels, you see this? The Bellevue shops, restaurants, gourmet food, and more. Up top is living space. So in a lot of these businesses on the first floors, they reserve them for commercial. And on the second, third, fourth, or go up, it's living space or office um, suites. So right now we're walking westbound. The sun comes up on the east side and it sets on the west. So the sun is behind us. All right, so we got restaurants on our right. Little outdoor eateries, outdoor tables and whatnot.
Gorin Bros. Whatever Gorin Bros is. It looked like somebody was pressure washing the sidewalk. So you could take this up to like, let me see, what are we on? We're about to hit 15th again, right? So you can take this up to probably 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. Because like on 20th, there's a good restaurant. There's a good pizzeria called 20th Street Pizza. That's right around the corner from uh, 20th and Walnut. But um, right now, we're on what? The 14, 1500 block. So we can take this up another several eight, nine blocks and see a bunch of stores on both sides of the street. Now, if you take Walnut and Chestnut down to like 8th Street, then you'll get to like the like the jewelry stores, Ju uh, Jewelers Row. There's a spot that we got called Jewelers Row. It's about two, three blocks full of jewelry stores. Some of the um, most prestige jewelry businesses that's in the area. Awesome dog, man. We got a Chipotle. Yeah, Toon be getting that with the vegetables at Chipotle. <laughs> I just walked under a scaffold. The scaffolding is usually there when they do uh, the front side of the business, like the facade, the facade, when they pressure wash and all that. Did they do any work? Could though, but that's another good spot for vegetables and stuff. So we're passing a ton of um, like restaurant. Um, what do you call those things? I said restaurants, boutiques. Um, but more importantly, like um, fashion businesses, businesses that specialize in fashion. Let's go in the shade because right now we're in the sun. There you go. Yeah, there's another name for for a boutique. I can't think of it right this second. Got the Apple store. See what I'm talking about? Untuck it, New Balance, Pandora. Look at this building right here. Exceptional retail space available. Santander Bank. Paper and source. So if you guys want to know a fun fact about this area right here, Adam Sandler shot a, a scene of a film down here. Beautiful chocolate lab. Adam Sandler shot a scene from a film down here and they try to make it look like New York. They basically did make it look like New York. They, they cut the scenes to make it look like if the scene, the scene was shot in New York, but it was shot here in Philly, in this area. But since it has all the stores, it has that row style vibe, similar to New York, they were able to utilize this location and just splice it in as if it was New York City. What I noticed from going to a lot of big cities across America is that they reserve a lot of the fancier businesses for downtown areas. A lot of the time, I can't speak on behalf of Gary, Indiana, because Gary, Indiana's downtown was deserted. Along with many other downtowns across America, there was a fair amount of downtowns that were deserted. 
However, a lot of these fancier stores are safe in downtown. All right, we're approaching 18th and Walnut. Now I've actually taken you guys through this park before. I got videos on my channel, walking through this park on a beautiful day, packed with people, dude playing guitar. Like there was so much going on that day when I went to this park. And I walked throughout all of these blocks before. We're near Rittenhouse uh, Square. Rittenhouse Square. Um, we're actually right now in the French Quarter. But Rittenhouse Square is on my left, about a block up. And it's considered to be one of the most high-end neighborhoods here in Philadelphia because it's in the downtown area. It's like one of the most expensive neighborhoods as far as real estate goes. Um, homes starting at one, two, three million, four million, five million, eight million. And then you got lofts, people living in luxury lofts, $20 million loft, $30 million loft, and so on. But as you can see, they have access to all of the, the best spots. I even did a, a eating video here with Omi. We, we came here, right here. We came here and we got it on video and we got it on my Toon Chilling channel where we tried some of their food. We tried some of their tacos and all that stuff. It's on my channel, Toon Be Chilling. Look at Hip City Reds. This is one of the spots I've been eating at. They also got another location on 40th Street, 40th and Market. There's a whole nother location, Hip City Reds. There are three locations abroad, 18th Street and 40th Street. But as we're walking through here, you're gonna see all these beautiful buildings. We're at Stock Exchange Place, the 1700 block. And we're passing all of these nice businesses, glasses, different specialty shops. Look at wines and yogurts and hot sauces. Mac and Mar look at mac and cheesery. So they must specialize in mac and cheese, bar and cleavers smoking stogies and stuff looks like a smoker shop and pizza the checkerboard all right we're at chestnut now if we go up chestnut this way we'll still this is westbound if we walk up chestnut there's still a bunch of businesses on the left and the right side we're gonna go right just for the sake of trying to go um and document the inside of reddening thermal Reading Terminal. I don't know how possible that's going to be because I know they got sec security and sometimes when you're in a public environment, they don't want you to to record people without their permission. So I'll give it a try. I'll try to walk through the Reading Terminal. It's like a food court, basically. It's a really packed place. And again, businesses, shoe stores, mattress business, uh, a sports store, a bank, a Jacobs jewelry store, Sephora. You got revolving sushi bar coming soon. Sushi bar coming soon for all you sushi lovers. You got Grand Cafe La Quila. Asian Food Hall. Forever 21. Sounds like they're doing some street work. I should probably cross the street.
We have Liberty Place right here. Liberty Place on the first floor is filled with a bunch of businesses too and restaurants. And upstairs is living space. So they're doing some work right here on 16th Street. And this is a major street here. The street's always gridlock, always packed. So it's surprising to see them uh, work on the street and make it even more gridlock with the traffic detour. Downtown traffic is no joke. Now this is the block that when all the looting happened two years ago, this was one of the blocks where a car was set on fire. It was hectic out here. There was people running into both stores, left and right side, running out with sneakers, running out with all types of clothing. We have Empire Beauty School on our right. Buffalo Exchange, new and used fashion. Dollar stores, we got Foot Lockers, Five Guys, Five and Below, House of Hoops, Popeye's Chicken, Samsung Footwear, Foot Locker Kids, Dunkin' Donuts, Wendy's, Wells Fargo, which is a bank. Downtown Philadelphia is very walkable. Very walkable, easily accessible by all sorts of public transportation. Look at that. The nine bus, the 21 and the 42. There's plenty of buses that take you to downtown, plenty of trains and subway um, options. And if you're a cycler, like if you like cycling, I really recommend cycling. Cycling is a great option. It's quick and easy to get around. So this building is new. The Element by Weston. When I left Philly, this was still being worked on. When I left Philly, this was not complete. And now look it, this is complete. That's dope. I've even did 360 tours down here, guys. I'm emphasizing that because I know someone may be watching and wish that I went a different route or I missed the block or I should have went here. Well, it's a good chance that I've covered the area you wanted me to go through already on my page. You just got to sift through the 1,800 videos. <laughs> Look at the theater. Philadelphia Film Center. Look at they taking a selfie. Ah, I should have came out in a selfie. That would have been priceless if I photobombed a selfie. And I just came out in the background. <laughs> I should have did that. All right, so we're walking eastbound towards Broad Street. We already came through here. We're gonna cross Broad Street though. See, this is City Hall. That's that new building that we just passed by. Avenue of the Arts. Look what they got engraved on the pole. It says Avenue of the Arts. Got some graffiti stickers. The Capitol Grill. They do have Violet parking, believe it or not. Even though it looks like there's absolutely no place to park at, there's always a Violet driver out there willing to take your vehicle.
All right, so I think I'm gonna take a risk for y'all. I'm gonna just try to walk through the Reading Terminal earlier. I didn't even come down here with the intention of going to the Redinal Terminal. I keep calling it the Redinal. <laughs> My brain isn't functioning accordingly today, guys. I'm sorry. It's been a couple of days off since I've been doing these tours. So I'm not on my, I'm not on my A game. I'm on like my D game or my F game. <laughs> but um, we're gonna take a walk to the Reading Terminal. And then I'm gonna try to walk through it for you guys. So you guys can see how packed the Reading Terminal be. And then from there, we'll just randomly walk around. Maybe we'll check out Jewelers Row. Fine food, craft beer, sauce and so on there's a lot of restaurants here too we're now approaching the the strip i i say a strip because it's like one block that the street sign has the rainbow um coloration <laughs> but we're passing um you can say like the gay boar hood which what's known as one of philadelphia's gay boar hoods a neighborhood that um quite openly embraces uh, same sex relationships. So we're on 13th Street right now. And if you take a look at the 13th, on 13th and Chestnut, you'll see, you see the rainbow? So it's this block right here, up and down this, this block. Um, for a whole year, this was closed. 13th Street, this block was all closed and they were doing like outdoor dining, outdoor events. Yeah, it was strange. Like everything was sectioned off just in this area. Yeah, this is like their, um, their open gay district. And there's a lot of businesses on both sides here. A lot of them haven't opened up yet. I'm gonna make a left coming up so we can walk towards the Reading Terminal. Now, like I was saying, I didn't wake up <laughs> saying, um, I wanna walk through the Reading Terminal today. Nah, that just came last minute when I was walking westbound. Because I remember a few weeks ago, I, I went to the Reading Terminal and I went to eat at this little sandwich spot. They make special sandwiches. That I'm able to eat so I went there and I went to go eat and I walked through there and there was so much ambience and I'm like whoa this would be an awesome location to put a body cam on and just walk through it and I said body cam because I saw the, the security let's see how secure the security is on their security job today let's see if the security notices me Wow, a lot of smoke in the air, it stinks. So right now what you guys are witnessing is the morning commute. So I actually started one of my Christmas walks here. I did a three hour video. This is the block I started it at. It was on Christmas and it was at nighttime and it, and it was uh, snow on the ground.
That's the thing that sucks about driving an 18 wheeler in a small city. Look at that. He has to maneuver that with all this traffic waiting behind him. You gotta give those guys some credit, man. Being a truck driver is not easy. It's a very stressful and dangerous job. I was driving a rig that was a fraction of their size across the country. I was driving a 41 foot rig. I think their trucks are 60 foot and above. And I tell you, after driving that 41 foot rig across the country, I gained so much respect for 18 wheeler drivers, the people who do full time uh, truck driving. Man, that's stressful. I mean, after a while, you get used to the rig's length and used to the rig's size. We're next to the Hard Rock Cafe. We just passed uh, Market. We're on 12th of Market. 12th of Market, guys, but I'm going to cut through here real quick. This is the Hard Rock Cafe guitar. That guitar spins. I smell pink. It smell like um, paint, like actual auto body paint. Why is there auto body paint in the area? Smells so strong. All right, we're approaching Reading Terminal. Reading Terminal ahead. I gotta be careful on which entrance I go to. Because if I go to the wrong entrance, the security guard's gonna be right there and he might just stop me. Y'all smell a lot of paint. A lot of paint. Where's this paint smell coming from? Look at the tour buses. The Philadelphia sightseeing tour buses. We're at 12th and Filbert. This is how you can find one of the entrances to the Reading Terminal. If you're ever in the area and you want to come eat, check this place out. Early. Yeah, they're over there doing some uh, renovation there. See, they got the lights up top. They're doing the sidewalk new. That's usually one of the entrance points too, but it's closed. So this is an entrance point right here on my right, but there's a security guard at here, right here. Oh no, there ain't no security guard today. It's not as packed as it normally is. Sometimes it's a lot more packed. Maybe it's because it's the morning hours. You probably got to come around lunchtime. So I'm going to try to do my best to walk through here without getting spotted. Like I'm playing Metal Gear Solid. Since it's not as packed as it normally is. It's a lot easier to spot me. So some of these restaurants are closed. This was Sweet Nina's. They relocated. So some of these spots, um, I know they've been here for a lot longer than others. Oh, the little sandwich spot that I eat is right around the corner. So let's see if we, if, if we can pass that little sandwich spot and go um, take a look at what the name of the business is. I think it's called Something Deli. I can't think of it right now like a little deli cold cut spot but it's plant-based cold cuts huh? oh it's called love's deli love's deli now i remember the name of it excuse me where the heck is love's deli at Oh, no, I think it's another aisle or two down. It's 
So I'm straight up giving y'all the top to bottom full tour. <laughs> I haven't been caught yet. So I'm gonna continue walking nonchalantly. Got a little deli cheese spot. Wow, that is awesome. They actually had women that looked like they had the Amish attire on selling the cheese at that deli. That's quite neat. Hunger Burger, established in 2015. Yeah, hold it, see if it'll shove that worn down. Oh, Love's Deli. I passed it. That's the spot that I be eating at right there. Love's Deli is banger. And then they got like a little point um, system where if you um, get five points, you get a free item. So you get five points, you get a free sandwich basically. We got a smoothie spot. We got a gourmet Chinese food spot. Now we're walking up to some police officers. When we walked through the food court, there was two sets of cops eating. I did see a couple eyes pay attention to me, but I'm gonna keep it moving. Live um, lobster, cooked lobster. So we cut one uh, Avenue early. Now it would be so much better to come through here on a lunch hour because during the lunch hour, it'd be packed. I'm talking about elbow to elbow. There'd be lines in front of these restaurants literally lines because people got to go to lunch and everything yup now of course i would have liked to zoom into the food and show you guys the food and everything but i don't want people to think i'm like some type of l and i inspector look at my homie ramon what's up ramon you all right Chilly? yes sir <laughs> yeah just doing a walk through bro hot how your day going, right? It's going good, about eat. Lunch time? Uh, break time. Break time? Yeah. You're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just been walking through the spot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. How's everything going? You good, though? I'm good, I'm good. We just, just came into a fire pole fire. Where? So so they evacuated the building? No, uh, it was it was like a small one that was contained. Like, nobody even knew about it. Luckily. Just stuff went into a fire. And nobody was there that already, so it was just like security guards and us. That's what's up, man. Hey, man. Chilling, man, you know, just doing a walking tour. Just got off the train, walking down here, showing them what this little market looked like. Trying not to get caught. <laughs> I done walked through the whole John already. You don't say something you're recording? This is sometimes, recording. because it's a public environment, you know what I mean? So sometimes. Record all the time. Hopefully. The, the one dude took a picture, I, I get a coffee over there, and he's like fucking snapping a picture of me, <laughs> like drinking coffee. <laughs> so, glad to be back on your trip. You're, I was just telling them about your trip. You already know, bro. You already I mean, know. RV and, and travel the whole U.S. Yeah, except Alaska and Hawaii. Next, that's what's next. Because you can't so drive you, to those. So you, you, gotta... you went to the state? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to try and travel. I'm going to Milwaukee. I plan on going to Milwaukee next year. And then probably go to like, Chicago area and travel. Yeah. I've been to Chicago before, but I ain't, it was for a funeral. Yeah. So I was like in and out. I want, I want to travel more. Yeah. Like, yeah, come by the house. Stuff changed since you've been there last. You still got the um the SUV? The new joint y'all got? Yeah. The white joint? Yeah. You got any other whips? Uh, so the truck. I've been actually I've been like working on other projects. RC, you know about that, right? The RC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's fun. I bought a tandem bike, you know, yeah. a 1973 swing from like a project for me and my son. Yeah. I'm trying to keep my son and dog busy for shit. 
Um, because they get into that to that age, right? Yeah. Well, yesterday my boss gave me RC um, chopper, right? So I, I got home. My daughter wants one, so she wants to get into that. That's what's so up. Like, it's not going to keep on going. Hell yeah. But it's it yeah, it works. That dude, that thing is fast. And I looked it up. It's twenty dollars. It's cheaper. They go quick. You have to go slow. And then you could get your your daughter like girl cars and she could customize them yeah. femininely. She was on yeah. a uh, drift. My son was bashed. There's like the monster truck ones. But she's great because they, they do, you can land them off the roof. Yeah. I put it on the roof the other day to fuck around and I jumped in and it landed perfect. Kept going. It's still a break. It's a um, we go upgrade the parts and everything. So you know you can upgrade them. Yeah. It's a expensive problem. I used to have tons and tons of them Johns, bro. Dude, the one guy here, he has one. He put, he put uh, axles. 80 bucks. For bro. Reason. Bro, I had over a hundred RC cars, all, all hanging on the yeah. wall. Yeah, I used Remember to like the them. RC ones that used to drift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to like them, yeah. But yeah, hit me up, dog. Right, be man. safe. Okay. Be, right. be safe, sir. You too. Yeah. Have fun. yeah, we just got a chance to see the homie Ramon. That's the YouTuber Ramon and Kids Garage. I think he changed his YouTube channel name. Um, I think he changed it to Six Piston. I think it's called Six Piston now. But yeah, you you should be able to type up Ramon and Kids Garage and you'll see him not only on my channel, but you'll see him on his own channel. He creates a lot of uh, automotive content or he does stuff with his kids. To make a long story short, I also did a video about him before too. We were actually born in the same hospital the day after each other. So he's one day older than me. We were both born in 1988, but he was born May 19th. I was born May 20th. So we always make jokes. Like we was probably inside the same little baby room. <laughs> we was probably inside the same little baby room. But um, yeah, so we ran into the homie, the homie Ramon. My homie Ramon runs uh, the air conditioning HVAC system over here at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. Look at this is the Convention Center right here. And that's what he was just talking about. He was saying that him and his homie, that's his homie from work, him and his homie, um, they got evacuated because there was a small fire in the Convention Center. That's the news that I just got. But it was a containable fire, so it wasn't nothing really crazy. This is the Convention Center. They added more onto it. So now, like I was saying earlier on in the story, is that if you Google it, you can Google and learn about this, but they're supposed to move the or they're proposing to move the Philadelphia 76ers basketball ar arena here. They're gonna take up, I think this is the block, 11th or is it 12th Street? Anyway, it's within this area. They're going to demolish a few uh, blocks worth of real estate. And then they're going to make a new, <laughs> They're going to make a new, somebody um, said YouTuber out hanging out the window. So I waved at her. Um, so they're going to make the new basketball arena here. I'm not a, a sports fan. I don't really care where they put that basketball arena, but I am a resident and traveling, let's say on a Friday through here is bad enough. But any day of the week, could you imagine trying to travel through Center City and then you got all that sports traffic? So that's kind of going to be a pain in the butt. Now, I know a lot of downtowns have their sports arenas near downtown. For example, Atlanta. Atlanta has theirs near downtown. Um, for another example, um, you got L L.A. They got the Dodgers near downtown. There's a lot of places that they have their stadiums near downtown and the list goes on. But um, it just creates a whole nightmare. Gridlock, parking, traffic. So they're supposed to do that. I think the proposed date was by 2032, 2030, 2031, 32, 33, something like that. It's supposed to be in the 2030s. So in another eight plus years, they're going to be trying to execute that project. But I just think that it's, um, it's gonna be an interesting thing because the rest of their, their facilities, oops, let me, let me turn up here. Let me turn up here. I feel like I'm going to circles. <laughs> so the rest of their facilities that are sports related are all in South Philly around the sports complex, Packer Avenue. They're all relatively close to each other. Baseball stadium, football stadium, um, hockey stadium, ESPN arena, 
which is like X Games and all that. And then the, the basketball, which is the Sixers. By moving the Sixers down here, you just throwing off the whole sports complex. And then you doing what I said earlier, you causing a crazy traffic jam. It's gonna be a crazy traffic jam. But by the time they do that, 10 years from now, I'm 34 right now. That means I'll be 44. Uh, I'll be around 44 by the time they finish the actual, by the time they finish the actual project, I'll be 44. So that goes to show you. Uh, we we got the courthouse right here. That's that's the courthouse. So let's see if we can walk towards Jewelers Row for the end of this. I know that I originally wanted the end of this to be Reading Terminal, but I didn't expect Reading Terminal to go so so um, fluidly. I really wish Reddit Terminal would have been more packed so y'all could have seen the people walking around, but it's cool. We got a chance to run into my homie Ramon. Got a chance to look at the Reading Terminal. Now we're gonna go check out Jewelers Row around the corner. All right, we're back on Market Street. Now, Market Street, um, to my knowledge, a lot of these businesses have been repurposed. So that Macy's right there, a female was raped. I hate to say it, but she was sexually assaulted while her husband was downstairs shopping. She went to the bathroom, a man entered the bathroom and sexually assaulted her while her husband was downstairs still shopping. I think she was in her, what was she in her, guys? Was she in her 50s, 60s? She was an older woman. It happened right there in that building about a year, year and a half ago. So a lot of these businesses were repurposed too, like that from what I heard used to be a John Wanamaker's. Um, there was a lot of other businesses like Strawbridge Enclosures. Um, a lot of other ones. There used to be something called the gallery here back in the day. The gallery used to be a spot to hang out at. It was kind of like a mall. It was like our very own mall in Center City, Philadelphia. But the popularity declined over the last 20 years because of online i know that's a primary factor because you can get a lot of things cheaper from online um, and then other malls that provided competition so you had king of prussia mall you have franklin mills mall now called the philadelphia mills so people had other options to go shopping they didn't have to come down here so the gallery kind of declined in sales a lot of the stores closed on i used to go shopping at the gallery when i was a kid i used to get fitted caps and jerseys and sneakers I used to take the train all the way down here as a kid just to go shopping. But now as a young adult, I don't really use the gallery at all anymore, at all, like zero. There's no reason for me to come to the gallery. <laughs> but yeah. So the gallery literally just went over an overhaul. Like they like redid everything in the gallery. And after they redid everything in the gallery, now they're proposing on, I guess, selling half of it or selling some of the convention center. Cause I, cause I think actually they're gonna use some of the gallery real estate to make that 76ers stadium, or that 76ers uh, basketball arena. So they literally probably just wasted a bunch of money to remodel the gallery to then knock it back down. That's crazy, right? I don't think they're gonna use all of the gallery, but I think they're gonna use some of that and some of the convention center. But like I said earlier, if you want to learn more about the details about that project, feel free to Google it. Google it, and there's plenty of information and videos about it already. People's thoughts on it being moved to downtown. and Some people are for it, some people are, are against it. Look at, they're trying to make um, downtown a lot more lavish. Look at, they got the digital display board. You see how it just changed on us? At nighttime, when you come down this strip, it's it's like uh it's like new york it's like really lit up it looks nice so right now we're walking towards the sun the sun is beaming
Damn, it's beaming. I'm across the street here. I'm across the street. I'm gonna get in the shade because this sun is nasty. Hey, that's a shot of City Hall. I even got a video on my channel where one time I had walked from the bottom of Market Street. We're on the 1000 block. I started all the way next to the water, next to Pence Landing. I walked all the way from 2nd, or you could say Delaware Ave. I walked from Delaware Ave and Market. Or in that case, you could say front, front and market. I walked from the water to West Philly to 54, 56 and market. I did that in a video too. So you can find that. You can find that all on my channel. Me walking from East Philly to West Philly. So this is the gallery. They also made a movie theaters here and a bowling and amusement spot, which is quite interesting because they didn't have that there when I was a kid. But now they got a theater and a bowling spot. And guess what? As I mentioned earlier, I have no real reason to come there. <laughs> I will not be going there to watch movies. I definitely don't enjoy bowling. So, you know, like, I guess that was a fail fail. I wonder how many other people feel the same. It's just too much of a headache to, to, to come down here trying to find parking to go watch a movie. It's a lot of a headache. It ain't even worth it. Like I would rather go to a movie theater that got a parking lot or go to an, like a venue where you can park and not have to worry about downtown parking. You gotta pay about an hour. You gotta pay the, um, the little meter kiosk. Nah, it's not worth it. Not for me at least. But there's still a lot of people that come down here and use these resources, the like H&M, American Eagle. Dude over there gave somebody a ticket. PPA guy gave somebody a ticket. Got a jewelry store right here. We're gonna start approaching more jewelry stores when we get to like 9th Street and 8th Street. We're gonna make a right when we get to this corner. Thank you. You got the United States Courthouse right here. I'm gonna cut through here because there's shade. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking towards the sun and that's because I am. The sun rises from the east, sets in the west. Right now we're walking southbound. I'm trying to get out of the sun. But we're around the corner from Jewelers Row. We may or may not be able to get to see it, but I know I did do a walkthrough of that before too. I tell you, I'm just covering my tracks here, covering my footsteps, taking different routes, different days, different weather. And to be completely honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, we have just reached our one hour mark. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. Unfortunately, my screen has been cracked for a couple days, so I couldn't even uh, see the the, cl the clock counter. <laughs> Normally, I try to tune out on the hour, but where the number counter is at is cracked, and I couldn't see it. So 
now I can see the one because the one passed the double digit number counter. 59, after 59 minutes, it is one hour. So yeah, guys, unfortunately we didn't get a chance to show you Jewelers Row, but I have covered that before. If it's a must and you want me to capture it again in the future, let me know. I'll do it in a couple videos, not right after this one, but I'll save it, you know, a couple in a couple weeks. We could come back up here and I'll probably walk more of the eastern half, including Jewelers Row if it's that important. But I believe I do have it already on my channel. So thank y'all for watching. Appreciate your support. I'm sorry we didn't cover all of downtown Philadelphia, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of the area. Hopefully you gathered some information. I'm sorry for stumbling. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> this is your homeboy, Toonie Magoonie. I'm tuning out. You already know. <laughs>